showing you some easy DIYs for iPhone cases because I really like iPhone cases and I think you guys do too. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it down below and subscribe to my channel because that would mean a lot to me. Let's hop into the video. All you will be needing for the first DIY is a pair of scissors, some watercolor, a glass of water, a pencil, a piece of paper, an X-Acto knife, a paintbrush and most importantly a clear iPhone case. Now you just want to trace your phone onto a piece of paper and cut it out with a pair of scissors. So when you're done with that, you want to put a piece of paper into your phone case and trace the hole for the camera. So now we're going to paint our ombre. We're gonna start with pink, then move on with purple and end with dark blue. Make sure to use a lot of water because the colors will blend easier that way. So now we're going on with the blue one and make sure to use a lot of water because there's quite a big difference between the purple and the blue one and you want to blend them really well. So now I'm gonna write a quote on it. This is optional, but I thought it would be really cute. And I chose for the quote, Happy Fox. Now I'm going to fill in the letters with black paint. You can also do this with a black marker, of course. Try to do this as neat as you can because you won't be able to erase it after you've painted it. So now take your X-Acto knife and cut out the hole for the camera. Be really careful because the X-Acto knife is really sharp. You can also ask your parents to cut it out. Now push out the part that you want to cut out. Be really careful because the paper can tear easily. Now put a piece of paper in your iPhone case and you're done! For the second DIY, all you will be needing is a piece of paper, some watercolor, a glass of water, a paintbrush and a clear phone case. Now you just want to tap on your paintbrush and then you get this real cool splashy effect. Then I wrote Need You Right Now on it from Bethany's song, which I really, really love. This step is optional, but I'm going to fill in the letters with a black permanent marker. You may have to add multiple coats to cover the splashes underneath it. Now put the paper in your phone case and you're done. So as it is almost Christmas, I decided to make a more Christmassy iPhone case as well. First I drew a Christmas tree onto a piece of paper in the shape of my phone and then I sew it with the sewing machine and green thread. And when you're done with sewing your Christmas tree onto the piece of paper in the shape of your phone, just pull it out and cut off the threads. Now put the paper in your iPhone case and you're done. <laughs> 